This is the B cam over here. I realize I'm out of frame. It's all right. So if you've ever wondered if my guitar rig can survive sub-50 degree temperatures and rain, the answer, via two outdoor shows that I've played over the past couple of weeks, is yes. In unrelated news, I hate Ohio. So this video is about something that I also hate, and that is fuzz. There. I said it. But more accurately, I would argue, fuzz really hates me. And this is painful to me because, you see, I, I want to love it. I want to love fuzz. I see all of these players that I admire using it. Ariel Posen, Jay Maskus, Joey Landreth, Dan Auerbach, Joshua Hami, Rhett Shaw. All these players swear by fuzz pedals and they all get these gorgeous tones out of them. And yet every time that I try a fuzz pedal, I get the same results. Now, at first I was told, you just haven't found the right fuzz pedal yet. And while that is kind of true, I went through several, like a lot of them, and got the same exact results. Several fuzz face circuits, big muff circuits, one knob fuzzes, octave fuzzes, sub octave fuzzes. I tried all kinds and I kept coming to the same two crucial issues on them. One, I couldn't control them. Two, when I kicked them on live, I absolutely disappeared. When I say I couldn't control them, I mean when I turned them on, they shrieked, buzzed, fed back, all kinds of terrible noises. And many of you, I'm sure, are saying, good, fuzzes are nasty, and that's what they're supposed to do. And sure, several players play them pedal to the metal, no pun intended. But the fuzz tones that I like and admire aren't those kind of fuzz tones. I like fuzz tones that are very smooth and sometimes kind of subtle. Thinking like Fade by Ariel Posen, or David Gilmore playing Comfortably Numb by Pink Floyd. We're not talking copious amounts of feedback and noise and rip your head off Velcro sounding fuzz. We're talking about very pleasant sustain in color. When I say I disappeared live, I mean it. Kicking on a fuzz pedal meant that I went from the featured instrument in the band to something I could barely hear just kind of buzzing in the background. A lot of fuzzes I had to turn up past noon to get to unity gain, and they were EQ'd in a way that just made me absolutely disappear from the mix. Which was very unfortunate, because most of the time that I kick on a fuzz pedal, it's because it's on a feature or a solo or something that I want to be heard more than what I currently am, not less. 
I can only recall one time that I had a fuzz tone that I really liked live. Despite my best efforts, I've never been able to recreate that, even with the exact same chain. It is wonders what a beard does. Now, despite literal years and hundreds of dollars spent on an effect that I literally didn't like, I decided to continue living out the often misquoted definition of insanity, which is continuing to do the same thing over and over again and expecting different results. Through these adventures, I ended up finding two different fuzzes that I liked, but they were more flavor fuzzes. They were fuzzes that I used in certain instances, and they sounded very, very unique, and I liked them, but I could only use them for certain things. But I still hadn't found anything that I could reliably use as a go-to fuzz. Fuzz tone. I still haven't find anything. End quote. But finally, quite literally 20 or so fuzz pedals later, I finally found one. And no, I'm not sponsored by them. And no, it's not a Dunlop product. I see you thinking that I had yet another Dunlop product that I wanted to do a video on. It is the Mythos. No, oh, no, there's hair all over this. Golden Fleece. <laughs> First off, Mythos's own site says that this pedal skirts the line on fuzz and overdrive. So I already feel like I'm hedging my bets a little by my favorite fuzz being kind of described as an overdrive, but whatever. But see, the main reason that I like it is that it's not too much. It really sits in that fuzzy yet controlled area that I like. No one thinks I'm going to whip out my best doom riffs or cover some sloppy playing with a bunch of noise whenever I turn this on. Things get hairy and textured, but it still works for most genres that I play. It doesn't really come out of left field when I kick it on. I also love that it's very sensitive to my volume control. Which, listen, side note. The following message may be disturbing to those who feel that use of various positions on the guitar's volume knob is crucial to their tone. Viewer discretion is advised. I find this very overhyped in the world of guitar players sensitivity to the volume knob because having the dial a literal infinite knob to certain places to get tones that I want just is annoying. I'd much rather just press the button and get the exact tone I'm looking for. I don't want to search for it like around seven on the volume knob. I think it's overhyped. Fight me. But it is nice to be able to roll your volume down and still get this to clean up. I also like that it seems to work with all of my guitars and amps. Most other fuzzes I've used are very moody and only like certain guitar and amp combinations, and even some days of the week. This one doesn't like Mondays, but the Golden Fleece welcomes anything in the chain with open arms for the most part. It's also a very small compact size and it barely sips any power. Which in a world of fuzz circuits that come in cases that are 10 times the size required for the circuitry and are particular about what country the battery was made in, this is a welcome relief. And you know what? It holds its own when I kick it on too. I don't really disappear in the mix, it just makes it kind of hairy and textured and grimy. 
And it does struggle a little bit to keep up when I'm playing a solo and the boys in the trio are going full throttle. I have found a solution for that, but we're going to save that for another video. Because I got to keep cranking out that sweet, sweet content and I can't give you all the secrets at the same time. <laughs> now listen, fuzz seems to be a very individual thing and I'm not going to tell you that this is going to fix all of your fuzz problems. Also, if fuzz is one of your major problems, you probably are in a pretty good place in life. As a matter of fact, unlike a lot of things that I talk about on this channel, I'm not sure if this is going to be for everyone. What I will tell you is it's simple, well-built, and has become my go-to fuzz pedal. So I think it's worth the spin. There's even three versions of this thing, and I'm tempted to collect them all. But that'll have to wait for another video. And more money in my bank account. But for now, I will just bask in the glow of the Mythos Golden Fleece. <laughs> Wait, gig's on Monday, I can't use this.